Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are making part one of my two part Hawaiian set, starting with this ruffle sleeve boxy shirt. So let's get started. As usual for my tutorials, we are going to be using an existing shirt as a template. I love the fit of this one from Topshop, so we're gonna copy it. Here are the things that you'll need for this DIY. I used about 1.5 meters of fabric for this shirt. Okay, let's get into it. Using the tracing wheel, trace out the front and the back of your shirt onto craft paper. My shirt had a huge seam going through the front and the back, so I copied this design feature. You can do whatever you want for yours. I wanted the design to be boxy, but also a semi batwing type of thing. So I made my adjustments on paper before I cut them all out. Don't forget to measure and trace the button placket as it's usually an added piece to the front of the shirt. Trace and draw all parts of the shirt, including the collar and the collar stand. Also make sure to use seam allowances in all of your patterns. I use 1.5 centimeters. I actually decided to just use the collar stand in the end, but you can decide these choices later on. Once you have all your pattern pieces, it's time to cut the fabric. In my case, the back pieces were cut on a fold and the front pieces were cut in two pieces. Once all your pieces are cut, it's time to sew. For this shirt, I needed to sew the back piece, top and bottom together, and the front pieces, top and bottom together before I sewed them together. Once the front pieces were together, I sewed the button packets onto the shirt fronts. After ironing flat, I then folded it over the edge of the placket one centimeter and then in half and sewed it closed. Now that your button plackets are attached, you can place the front and back pieces together, right sides facing and sew the shoulder seams. Okay, now that the shoulders are together, we can go ahead and make our collar. Iron your interfacing into one side of your collar piece and then place both pieces right sides together and sew across the longest edge. Trim and press to flatten the seam. Pin and sew your collar to the neckline right sides facing. The interface side should be the one that faces the outside of the shirt. Trim and press the inside collar so that the raw edge is tucked inside the collar. Sew in the ditch on the outside of the collar to catch the raw edges of the inside of the collar. Hopefully you guys got that. Okay, so we are almost done now. So let's work on the sleeves. To make the sleeve ruffle, I measured the arm edge and multiplied it by 1.5. I then used this measurement to cut out a rectangle with that as the length and three inches as the width. I cut two of these, one for each sleeve. Then hemmed both pieces on one side by folding over twice and using a straight stitch. On the other side, I used the longest stitch I could to sew a double row of stitching. I used these to gather the fabric until it was the length of the armhole. I then attached each ruffle to each armhole, right sides facing, with a straight stitch. So when I started this project, it was originally meant to be a tie front shirt, but we all know that I changed my mind a lot. So that's why I'm gonna cut that bit off because I decided just to keep it boxy. I hemmed it closed by folding over twice and sewing shut. And then to create the armholes, I then went ahead and sewed a straight line from the bottom all the way up to where the armhole would roundabout start. To create my buttonholes, I marked one inch intervals from the top of the shirt. I then went ahead and used my buttonhole foot and a button to create the holes. As you can see, totally not prepared when coming to look for buttons. So uh, I used actually a mismatch of about four or five different buttons, which I'm quite enjoying the look now. What do you guys think? Once you've made your buttonholes and stitched your buttons, that's it, you're all done. Let's have a look. So what do you think? I'm actually really happy with how it turned out, although next time I will be better prepared. Stay tuned for part two of this video where we will make the matching short. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, leave us a comment, and of course, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video and we're gonna make those shorts.